All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at area in the coordinate plane. Area in the coordinate plane. All right. Um, it's pretty much simple. It's pretty much what we've been doing um, for the last few days. Area of a rectangle is still base times height. Um, so basically, all you have to do is find the base of this rectangle and the height, and then you can know the area. The key thing is to find the base times height. So here's my base. Here's my height. Now here's the thing. These lines are slanted, so I can't just count boxes because I, I just can't count. So there are two ways of doing this. You could do the distance formula, or you can use Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem just because I find it faster, especially once you practice so much, you're going to get real good and real fast. All right, so to use Pythagorean theorem, I need to make 90 degree triangles. So say I want to find DE, my base. I'm going to make a a 90 degree triangle and I basically you start from one point get to the other point um, left and right and up and down so I'm going to go this way and then that way so you see basically what I've done is I've gone ahead and made a 90 degree triangle so this is one two three four and this one is three all right use Pythagorean theorem Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared a is 3, so 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 3 squared is going to be 9, plus 4 squared is 16, equals c squared. 9 plus 16 is 25, equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides, c is equal to 5. Now, when you get really good at this, you won't even have to do all that. You're going to be able to, to tell. So de is equal to 5. All right, so I've got the base. So I know the area is base times height, so I've got base, I need the height. So I can find the height of uh, BE, rather I can find BE or I can do CD, doesn't really matter, I'll just do this one right here. Against that one point, get to the other, going up and down, left and right. Uh, make sure you make that 90 degree triangle, I mean uh, angle, because Pythagorean theorem only works on 90 degree triangles. I mean angles, 90 degree angles. All right, uh, so... I'm going to teach you a couple of ways. You can always count boxes, okay? But I'm going to see if I can teach you um, how to count fast. This starts from 1, and it goes up to 9. So from 1 to 9, that's going to be 8. All right? Again, if you don't know how I did that, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You just count boxes. All right? At these two points, I'm going to bring them down. It goes from uh, negative 3 to negative 9. So that's going to be 6. If you don't know how I did that, count the boxes. All right, so eight and six. All right, so then you're gonna do a squared, and I'm just gonna do it right here on the side. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is eight squared plus b is six squared equals c squared. 64 plus 36 equals c squared. 100 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides. I'm gonna get c is equal to 10. All right, so CD is equal to 10. So now I have the base, I have the height, so I can find the area. So area of a rectangle is base times height. So area is equal to the base, which is 5, times the height, which is 10. So area is equal to 50. Perimeter, secure the perimeter, you're going to walk around the shape. Well, if this is 5, because it's a rectangle, this has to be 5, and that's 10, this one has to be 10. So walk around the shape. So 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5. That's going to be 20 plus another 10 is 30. And that's basically it for each of these questions. It gets a little tedious, but the more you practice, the faster you get. Um, you could get this, you could do this question in less than... 30 seconds once you get real good at the Pythagorean theorem. All right, next example. What is the perimeter of this triangle? All right, so that means I need to add all the sides together, so I need to find them. Well, I can find this side right here, and again, you can count the boxes. I'm going to see if I can teach you how to count faster, so it goes from 2 to 8. 2 to 8 is 6 boxes. 8 minus 2 is 6. So that's six boxes. Again, just count if you're not sure. All right, these ones I can't count because they're not horizontal, but I can make a 90-degree triangle, get from F to E, left and right, and then up and down. So like that. 
And the reason you do that is to make that 90. Once you make that 90, you just use Pythagorean theorem. All right, so again, let, you can always count boxes. I want to see if you can get the pattern of what I'm doing to count fast. It goes 8 to negative 5. So from here to here is going to be 8 plus another 5. That's going to be 13. Okay, so from here to here is going to be 8, because that's 8, and then it goes from here to here is 5, so 8 plus 5 is 13. All right, um, from here to here, just go to the y-axis, from 4 to 8 is going to be 4. Again, if you don't understand that, just count the boxes. Uh, Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is 4 squared plus b is 13 squared equals c squared. 4 squared is 16. 13 squared is 169 equals c squared. All right, um, so 16 plus 169 is 170, 185 is c squared. Take the square root of both sides. Now, here's the tricky part here. See how it says do not round to the end? Because if you round before, you're going to get, it's going to round you wrong. So 185 square root is 13.6. If I round now, I might get the answer wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this. Instead of putting 13.6, I'm going to leave it like this. So I'm going to write square root of 185 right there. And then at the end is when I'll round. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that at the end. All right, next one. So I need to find this one. So let me make my triangle. There's my 90. All right, this is going to be 2. This, again, is going from... 5 to 8, so 8 plus 5 is 13. Count the boxes if you're not sure. Um, then you're going to do the same thing. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a squared is 2 squared plus 13 squared equals c squared. 2 squared is 4 plus 13 squared is 169 equals c squared. 169 plus um, 4 is going to be 173. Take the square root of both sides. And again, 1 square root of 173 is a really long decimal, so we're going to leave it till the end. So this is the square root of 173. All right, perfect. Perimeter is when you add all these up, okay? So what you're going to do is now I can go ahead and just put it in in the calculator so I can round. So I'm going to add the square root of 185, so 185 square root, plus 6, plus... Uh, square root of 173, 173 square root. The square root of 173 is that, but you have to press equals so that it gives you the answer 32.75, which rounds to 32.8. Now, if I had rounded before, I'm just going to show you real quick. Let's say I'd rounded before. So let's say I'd done. 185 square root is 13.6, and 173 square root is 13.2 plus 6. All right, so 13.6 plus 13.2 plus 6 equals 32.8. Okay, so this one would have been okay. Um, but sometimes it does not work out where if you round early that you're going to get the same answer. So just be careful with that. Don't round till the end. All right. Um, I know it doesn't say find the area, but I want to show you how to find that real quick. Find the area of this triangle. All right. So area of any triangle is one half base times height. Now, remember I said the base, okay, is just the bottom, and the height makes a 90 degree angle. So really, if I turned that around, you can clearly see that 6 is the base. Well, what's the height of it? Well, you have to draw, you have to make a 90 from the base to the top of the triangle. So you have to draw a line, and you have to make sure it makes that 90. If it does not make that 90, it is not correct. So the base is 6, and then the height is you just count those boxes. All right, so count the boxes from E to here, and that's going to be from either count or I'm just going to do from 8 to there is 8 plus another 5 that's 13 so the height of this is 13 so area is a half times base times height which is equal to a half times the base which is 6 times the height which is 13 which is 3 times 13 and you can do 0.5 times 6 times 13 is equal to 39 
All right, they might give you some questions where you not only have to find it, but you actually have to graph it. So let's go ahead and graph the vertices, negative 8, negative 3, negative 8, negative 3. That's going to be V, 2, and 9. That's going to be W, 2, and negative 5. That's going to be X. So it is a triangle. And they want you to find the area. All right. Uh, area of this triangle is going. Area of any triangle is going to be a half times the base times the height. So you just need to find the base and the height. All right. Look, it's it's a that's a base right there, right? See, base times the height. You have to make that 90 with the base from the top of the triangle. So feel free to like turn your paper or whatever you got to do to see it. All right, so basically I need to find the base. This count the boxes right here, which is going to go from 9 to negative 5. So from 9 to 0 is 9. 9 plus the 5 is going to be 14. Or you can count the boxes. Then the height is going to be from negative 8 to 2. So from negative 8 to 0 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Again, if you don't see that, count the boxes. Area of the triangle is a half times the base, which is 14, times the height, which is 10. So area of the triangle is half of 7, I mean half of 14 is 7, times 10 is 70. And you're done. All right, so uh, finding error in the coordinate plane is basically using Pythagorean theorem. You could even use the distance formula. I just find it a lot shorter to use um, Pythagorean theorem. Is basically using um, the distance formula Pythagorean theorem to find the lengths that you need in order to calculate what you need to calculate. And that's it.